Hello, dear test takers. Welcome back to my Grammar for Success channel. I am Koresh Babu, a retired lecturer in English from Hyderabad. In today's video, I am going to deal with spotting errors in articles. I hope that you can easily answer all these uh, questions. Since you have watched all the videos made on the topic of articles, such as concept of articles, use of a and an, a use of the and the omission of articles, right? But before getting into this video, I would like to remind you of something very important. What is that? All of you know pretty well that in the spotting error questions, locating or identifying the error containing part is the most important focus. And therefore, you are required to find out or locate or identify that part of the sentence that contains a grammatical error as this video deals with <coughs> spotting errors in articles you can come across sentences or questions in which the article is either wrongly given or the article deliberately missing right now let's get into the video okay spotting errors in articles this is meant exclusively for all competitive examinations like banking mat and uh, nda and what is that you know ssc cgl and all for all such you know competitive examinations this uh, you can say uh, exercise is going to be very very useful and helpful now let's get into the video yes dear test takers now look at the directions Find out the part of the sentence that has an error. If there is a mistake, if there is no mistake, the answer is no error. So these directions you know pretty well. And now here you pay attention. Uh, first question is there, and uh, all of you know pretty well that you know generally uh, in the spotting error questions, a question will be divided into three or four parts apart from the no error part, right? So whatever it is, you have to choose that part of the uh, sentence that contains a grammatical error. For example, you look at this example. Prabhudeva, you know very well, a famous dance choreographer. Okay, Prabhudeva is out and out a best dancer. Our dance school in Chennai has produced so far. So this is some sentence and no error. So in the you A, B, C and D part, you know, four parts are plus four plus one part is given. Right. And here Prabhudeva is out and out. Okay. Uh, it's out, uh, it's correct and a best dancer our dance school in chennai has produced so here in a part and uh, uh, what is that c part and d part uh, you don't require any article but here you look at the b part a best dancer so here the mistake lies or the error lies grammatical error what is that you know yes a best he says you know a best is a mistake because before the there is a rule in the english language that before the superlative adjectives we must use the definite article the not a or an right so here a best dancer is a mistake you have to say the best dancer it has to be the best but a best he has given so this part has the uh, error grammatical error okay you must choose your answer to be b that is in, in the examination what you have to do is you have to choose the error containing part that's enough you need not correct it or you did not rectify that so now second sentence is there it being a rainy day we decided not to practice cricket but to stay indoors and watch the movie pathan no error so in this also four plus one okay four parts of the sentence plus one part uh, no error part like so it being a rainy day a part b part c part if you have watched this sentence if you have observed this sentence you find that you know in the a part there is a mistake what is that it being a rainy day you know a rainy day so here day is a countable noun okay i have told you at the time of teaching you about the articles about the use of a and an what is that a or an must be used before a singular countable noun so here day is a singular countable noun of course it is being described by this word rainy so it's an epithet rainy day so whatever it is it's a singular countable noun before a singular countable noun you must always use a or an so here rainy is beginning with a consonant sound therefore you have to use a so it being a rainy day 
we decided to we decided not to practice cricket but to stay indoors and watch the movie patham so here in the a part there is a mistake you have to choose that a part here like that okay right you go to the next one and here third one is there this blue colored question question given in blue color is meant for you you have to answer this question and please i have you know chosen 15 questions uh, in this uh, video and uh, you write the answers on a piece of paper uh, giving the serial number and then you please uh, uh, send that uh, send your answers uh, uh, you can say to the number i am going to uh, whatsapp number i am going to provide at the end of this video i read this question for you a girl i have met in the market is a great singer very simple only three parts are given in this and this uh, uh, plus no other part is there so you have to uh, choose that part of the sentence that has a, a grammatical error in this so third one is there right and the fourth question is also there our children usually go to the bed at 9 30 every night no error so if you look at this example you understand that see uh, in the a, a b part and c part there are no mistakes you know at 9 30 right every night right so grammatically these two parts b part and c part are absolutely right grammatically correct but only in the a part there is some mistake what is that so like that also you can come at 9 30 only you say right it's correct every night you have, that's correct no mistakes mistake must be in the a part only where is the mistake our children usually go to the bed okay dear test takers yes before certain nouns okay i have mentioned uh, this rule in the omission of articles please uh, watch that video once again and you can understand this rule what is that rule before the uh, before certain nouns for example school college church what is that prison market bed etc these are the what is that nouns if you visit them in their own purpose you should not use any article before them if you use them in some other purpose other than their own purpose then you can use an article here you are going to bed why why do we go to bed for sleep only? that means you are using this uh, word bed in the uh, in, in its sense only in its primary sense only and therefore you should not use any article suppose if you have used it in some other sense you know yes the bed in our house is you know dirty something like that if you have used that bed in some other sense then you can use any article please uh, watch that video and understand those rules if you have any problem if you have not watched it watch it again and again because you know i have been you now teaching you wonderful things please remember that so because that's why this a part has a mistake you should not say the our children usually go to the bed but you should say our children usually go to bed go to bed itself is enough i go to bed at 10 o'clock don't say i go to the bed school college are also there if you are going to school for study sake what is their purpose school or college for study purpose so if you go to school or college in their own purpose you should not use any article i am going to college don't say i am going to the college no i am going to school no for example your father is going to school or college why to pay your fees then you say hey mr gopal where are you going i am going to the college to pay the fee of my son because your father is not going to uh, the college you know uh, um, for a study purpose that's why he can use but you cannot use because you are a student he is only an ordinary man so like that you know so you try to understand that okay right now you go to the next sentence fifth one today my father is in bad mood uh, as he has lost his iPhone gifted to him by his friend. Okay, if you have looked at this uh, uh, question, uh, you can find uh, no mistake at all in the A part. Okay, no mistake at all in the uh, C part because as he has lost his phone, that's right, grammatically gifted to him by his friend. See, so read the part, you know, but I have already told you when you are answering the uh, spotting error question, you know, you must read the sentence uh, uh, not in parts but as a whole, okay. You have to read it as a whole not in parts my my today my father is in bad mood as he has lost his gift for iphone gift not don't break the sentences sentence like that you read it as a whole no whole. 
today my father is in bad mood as he has lost his iPhone gifted to him by his friend. Something like that. Then you can understand where the mistake lies. Right. And my father, no mistake, gifted to him, gifted to him by his friend, no mistake. As he has lost his friend, no mistake. Grammatically, these two, these three parts are correct. But here, in bad mood is there. In bad mood is a mistake because you should not say in bad mood. In a bad mood, just uh, just a, lit, uh, a few days ago, uh, uh, concept, I uploaded a video saying that you know uh, phrases uh, that do that take an article. Okay, phrases. Two things I have uploaded. What is that? Phrases that uh, take an article. Phrases that do not take an article. So here, these are in mood is there, in bad mood or good mood. So this phrase takes an article. Okay, I have also taught you about the phrases that do not take uh, an article. Please watch those two videos. They are very, very important from all your competitive examinations point of view. Right. So here, mood is there. So this will, this phrase will take an article. So in a bad mood, don't say in in a in bad mood. Hey, why are you so sad today? I am in sad mood. Oh, you are in sad mood. Don't say. You are in a sad mood. He is in a joyful mood. He is in a bad mood. So, you must use article in this phrase. Here, it is not. Since it is not used, and this B part is a mistake part. So, it is your answer. Right. Go to the next one. The need to set up a bridge across the river has been in the minds of people for some time now. So, here, the need to set up is grammatically correct okay a bridge across the you can say across the river okay that is also a bridge okay one bridge a bridge means one bridge across the current has been in the minds of people for some time now so for some time now it's correct but it has been in the minds of people it's not correct in the minds of the people you have to say in the minds of the people because you know you are talking about the people of specific area, specific people only. So, whenever you are mentioning some people or persons or things or places specifically or particularly, you must use the definite article before that. So, in the minds of people, don't say in the minds, in the minds of the people, the people living in that area, they are the particular people, they are the specific people, they are the definite people. And to show that, we have to use the definite article here. I hope you have understood this one. Right. And now let's go to the next one. And the seventh one is for you. You have to answer this question. Okay. And anyway, I read this uh, question for you. Please see whether you can answer it. Okay. On my request, Mohan introduced me to his bosom friend who is a singer and a musician. No error. Okay. This is the question posed to you please try to answer this and to uh, what is that you know uh, to give a correct answer you must please watch my earlier videos in in my earlier videos all these things are explained if you can watch the uh, videos on use of a or an very important you can use it okay repetition of articles okay use of the omission of articles these five six videos are there okay you watch all of them and you can answer them right one more question is given. Though Warangal is a historical place, Warangal is in Telangana, okay, and there is a lot to see in Warangal. There is a lot of things to see, lot of uh, historical things to see, okay. See, though Warangal is a historical place and there is a lot to see, only few tourists visit it every year. So, in these three parts, A, B, C, which part has a grammatical error? The, though Warangal is a historical place, correct without any, there is a lot to see, correct. But in this, you know, C part, there seems to be a mistake. What is that? Only few tourists. Here, only few tourists is a mistake. Few means, what is that? Few means, few has three meanings. Okay. Few means, what is that? Not at all. A few means, a few means some, the few means where is there that is there, okay, whatever they, you know, what are the things that are there, that is the meaning, the few. So, at the time of in my uh, coming videos, this was discussed, few, a few, the few, little, a little, the little, these are very, very interesting adjectives, they are very important from the examination point of view. So, few, few means what is that? Few means not at all. Negative, it gives a negative meaning. Few means 
no tourists. Few tourist, tourist means no tourists at all. Literally no tourists. But uh, uh, since it is a historical place, uh, uh, do you think no tourists visit it? No. A to a few means some people. So here, though Barangal is a historical place and there is a lot to see. Few tourists means no tourists visit it every day. No, no. This is not the. This meaning is not correct. What should you say? A few. A few means some tourists visit. Though it's a historical place, only some tourists are visiting this place. That is what the writer of the uh, composer of this question is trying to tell you. Okay, and here only a few tourists. You should say only a two. Few is a gives a negative meaning. A few gives a positive meaning. Only a few tourists. So this part has a mistake. Now he is in the habit of reading uh, Hindu uh, for better knowledge of the facts. So this is another interesting sentence. He is in the habit of no error at all for better knowledge. No error of the facts. No error. One, two, three. You can read the sentence and you can understand. It. And, uh, and because reading Hindu, you know very well, this part has a mistake, grammatical error. What is that error? See, before the name, so the reading Hindu is a mistake. Why? Because before the names of newspapers, we must use the definite article. There is a rule. Before the names of the newspapers, we must use the definite article. So here we must use the definite article, the Hindu, the Times of India, the National Herald and there are so many newspapers, you know, before all of them we must, we must use the definite article. Here it is not used and that's why deliberate it is missing and that's why, what is that? Here in this part only there is a mistake. Now let's go to the next one. What is that? The fact, the fast changing lifestyle in the western countries is throwing the tremendous effect on the culture of the people. So this is the 10th one is an interesting sentence, the, the fast changing lifestyle in the western countries, okay, their lifestyle is throwing tremendous effect on the culture of the people in India, as a, uh, of the, uh, on the culture of the people in India, I must say in India, okay, I must say, but uh, okay, I have not, I, I could not compose it in, uh, in India. So here in the A part, in the, in the C part, there is no mistake, but in the B part, there is a mistake. What is that? Throwing the tremendous don't say effect is you know you are showing the effect specifically what is that there are so many effects you know this is not one this is not the one effect you know the not the specific effect so we should not show that what should you say throw a tremendous effect one tremendous effect that's one effect only the fast changing lifestyle in the western countries is throwing one effect not the specific effect, but the one effect. Okay, that's why you should say that's the mistake. And you go to the next one. Though here, this is meant again for you. Thousands of the civilians and soldiers were either killed or severely wounded in the Russia-Ukraine war. So, this uh, uh, sentence is meant for you. Please answer this question. Now, let's go to the next slide. Okay, in this slide, you know, very first sentence is meant for you. You have to answer it. Okay, the college where I work is within stones throw away from my house within stones throw away from my house this question is for you please answer this question and send me this answer uh, on my whatsapp number right and uh, the 13th one is here the majority of the senior actors uh, rem rem uh, recommends that uh, the stringent measures should be taken against uh, uh, piracy okay the majority of the okay the majority of the Cine actors uh, recommends that uh, uh, stringent measures, that stringent measure means very strict measures, okay, should be taken against piracy, okay. C part, D part, B part, uh, there are no mistakes at all. But here, because in the first part only, in the A part only, there is a mistake. Because here, the verb is used singular, singular verb is used. Then when there is singular verb, there must be A majority. Let me tell you one important thing. I think I, I have also taught you this uh, uh, in my in my earlier video. See, let me tell you the majority, the majority of plus plural noun, plural noun plus plural verb. This is the situation. The majority of plus plural noun plus plural verb. The majority of always takes plural noun plural verb this is the sequence and here whenever you say the majority a majority of plus plural noun plus singular verb okay singular whenever there is a, a majority there must be a singular verb 
whenever there is the majority, the verb that follows must be the plural verb. The majority of follows a plural verb. The a majority of follows the singular. Here the singular verb is there and therefore it must be a singular one, a majority one. Because here, you know, this, this is giving you a hint, it is giving you a clue that this, you know, this is in the singular. Singular verb means whenever a verb takes yes after it, it becomes a singular verb. If a main verb takes yes after it or es after it, it becomes, a, it is called a singular verb. So, here singular verb means automatically it must be here, here it must be a majority of. Right, because of that we can understand. So it is there, right? And one more example is here. What is that? Fourteenth one. He won prizes not only in a share competition but also in the electrician competition held. So if you look at this example, okay, sentence. What happens? You know, he won prizes. No uh, mistake at all. But it's also in the B part. Not only in a share rating competition, okay, but also in the electrician competition held in connection with college day. So, in the D part, C part, there is there are no mistakes. Only the B part, there is a mistake. What kind of mistake is there? So, we are talking about essay writing competition. It is a specific competition. Specific one, okay. Specific one. So, whenever you mention a specific thing, you must use the definite article before that. So, here, elocution competition, it is a separate one, a specific one. Uh, essay rating competition specific one. So, here elocution before elocution competition we have used the definite article, but before this essay rating competition we have not used any definite article. So, therefore, here this D is missing in this part, and therefore he won prizes not only in the essay rating competition but also in the elocution, in the essay rating competition, in the elocution competition because they are all specific. He won prizes in the in a specific thing. You are winning a prize means in in some specific uh, uh, game only in, in specific you know uh, competition only, isn't it? So before that specific thing, we must use the definite article, right? Right. Doctor Anjali is an only doctor in our area. This is, is a very interesting one. See here, uh, where is the mistake? Doctor Anjali, no mistake. In our area, no mistake. The, there, this is this is only an error containing part. What is that? And only doctor, you say. See, whenever you use this only, you must use the only. And only, you should never say. I am the only doctor. I am a only doctor, you cannot say. I am an only doctor, you cannot say. The only. Before this only, you have to use all this thing. Dr. Anjali is the only doctor. He is the only teacher. He is the only political leader. Before this only, we must use the definite article. Are you following me? Right. So, here uh, they only. That's why this B part has a mistake. Right. And you go to the next one. The candidate is well qualified. Okay. You can read. However, he has not been selected. Oh, yeah. The candidate is well qualified. Even then, he was not selected. Why? Because he lacks in an experience. Okay. A part, no mistake. B part, no mistake. The C part, there is a mistake. What kind of mistake is there? Come on, check. If you check it, you can find he lacks in an experience. See, dear uh, test takers, experience is an abstract noun. Abstract noun. Before an abstract noun, we should not use any article. Abstract noun. We have two kinds of nouns. Concrete nouns, abstract nouns. Concrete nouns means nouns that we can, that means names of per person, names of places, names of things that we can see and touch. And abstract nouns means names of things only that we cannot see and touch. Such things are called abstract nouns. See, experience is there. Can you uh, see that with your naked eyes? No. Can you touch it with your hands? No. What can you do? You can only think of. You can only understand it mentally. You can only understand that mentally. Okay. You can only think of. You cannot see that, you cannot touch it. And such uh, nouns are called abstract nouns. About uh, uh, nouns only, uh, concrete nouns, abstract nouns, kinds of nouns, you know, I have dealt with in some other video, I think, you know. You please watch that video and you can, I have given all, even though the, uh, maybe the video may be a little bit lengthy, but I have not skipped any important detail. I have mentioned almost all the details for your convenience, okay. I have not taught anything in a hodgepodge manner. Okay, I have taught everything in detail. That's why 
you please watch these videos and you will benefit from these videos i am damn sure about that right and here in an experience is a mistake in experience okay right and again this sentence is for you okay and uh, you go to the what is that let me read this the doctor said as the patient was brought to the hospital in time there was a little hope of his survival no error so you please answer this question now the next sentence what is that the war of mahabharata is the full length illustration of a righteous war okay dear test takers if you have watched this sentence you understand that a a part and c part don't have any grammatical error except in the b part in the b part you should not say the full it is not a specific length a full length a full length illustration you have to say the war of mahabharata is a is one full length illustration is one full length illustration of war of a righteous war so of one righteous war it's a full it's a it's one full length illustration of the war of mahabharata so this is correct this is correct but here it's not correct the full length you should not say you have to say a full length illustration okay 19th one mr gopinath a leading lawyer okay was appointed the chairman of the club for a year in the first instance if you look at the sentence uh, what is that you find that there is no mistake in the a part there is no mistake in the c part and d part okay mr gopinath a leading lawyer correct of the club for a year correct in the first instance correct you can grammatically these three parts are correct but in the third b part was appointed the chairman see here after this you know appointed the chairman is there we should not say the chair because it is called predicative noun predicative noun means it is used after the noun after the verb after the predicate he was appointed chairman only you have to say you should never say because you know the predicative noun should be, should not be should not be used with an article yes she was appointed governor of andhra pradesh or he was appointed uh, what is that uh, uh, what is that uh, rajya sabha member he was appointed president of the club whatever it is after this appointed or nominated or these are the verbs you know named or named appointed made or something like that so after them we should not use any uh, Uh, concept. This is called predicative. What is that? Predicative noun. So this predicative noun should not be preceded by this article. Most of the people say he was appointed the principal. He was appointed the chairman. He was appointed the president. Don't say like that, please. You say he was appointed principal. He was appointed chairman. He was appointed uh, what is that? Uh, uh, um, president. Whatever it is. But uh, that's why this predicative noun doesn't take any article before that. chairman is a predicate you know it does not take any article before that but it is used here and therefore it is a mistake right 20th one the reason he has not been able to pay income tax in time is due to fact he has not received his salary on time okay the reason he has not been able to pay correct that he has not received his salary on time correct okay uh, what is that uh, income tax in time correct b part so a part b part d part these are correct except this c part why is why because in this part there is you know before this fact before fact you no know, due to the fact this fact is specific due to fact you should not say due to the fact what is that fact this fact is mentioned here when it is mentioned means it is specific due to the fact what is that fact here in the d part it is mentioned what is that fact that he has not received his salary on time that is why so this fact is not preceded by this definite article that is a mistake you should say is due to the fact it should have been like this is due to the fact that he has not so here d is missing that's why this part is this part has a grammatical error right and you go to the next one 21st one even today when i pay a visit to the village i shall be reminded of a un of an unique incident that took place several years ago please answer this question okay this question is meant for you turn second one no sooner did the teacher enter the class than every student stood up in a silence no error okay dear test takers now if you watch this sentence if you observe it you find that in the part uh, a part and in the b part 
there are no grammatical mistakes okay there is no grammatical mistake except in the c part okay what is that mistake in a silence is a mistake in silence and uh, therefore you must watch my earlier video phrases used with uh, articles phrases not used with articles two videos i have made they are very 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 important from the examination point of view competitive examination point of view so here in silence in this phrase we should not use any article in silence itself is enough it's a fixed phrase you cannot change it therefore you must learn all the phrases you know i have gathered all of them from various books and uh, uh, presented them in that video phrases not used with articles and another video phrases used with articles and 30 thought though she has drunk water thrice there is still water left in the bottle see though she has drunk water no mistake at all right left in the bottle no mistake at all and in the b part there is a mistake there is still little water mm, i have already told you little means no water L little water means no water at all do we say there is no water in that though she has drunk water thrice there is a, there is still this still says there is some more this what is there is still do you say there is still no water no there is still no there is still some water then there, after this still there must the answer must be positive not negative so this still is making you think uh, uh, in a positive way that's why but here negative word is used little is a negative word it means no literally no but a little means what is that some what is that some a little means some so what should be here after this word still there must be some positive note not the negative note therefore you must say a little there is still a little water a little water means there is still some water left in the bottle okay that's what you should say right and here what is that 24th one as she had some urgent meeting she left for new delhi in a in a airplane instead of going by train so if you have watched this sentence if you have observed it you find that there is no mistake at all in the a part and in the c part or in the d part but in the b part there is a mistake what is that she left for new delhi in a airplane see in a airplane you know here article a is given wrongly how why because airplane is the word beginning with a vowel sound and i have already told you uh, at the time of teaching you about the use of a and an what is that before the words beginning with a consonantal sound we must use a before the words beginning with a vowel sound we must use an that is the point right and uh, that's why airplane is beginning with a vowel sound and therefore you must use an here but here it is wrongly used you know a is wrongly used you should say yeah. that's why this b part has a grammatical error and now if you go to the next one this blue colored question is meant for you okay you have to answer it the road to a famous ramappa temple passes through a forest in Mul mulugu district telangana no error the road to a famous ramappa temple what mistake is there in this you please answer this question and send it to me uh, uh, on my whatsapp number 26th one the wasabi housing society in yalbi nagar what is that comprises three towers and 33 flats in an area of about 1000 square meters if you have observed this sentence you find there is no mistake in the a part b part c part in these three parts you don't find any grammatical error but in the d part you find an error what is that an area about thousand whenever you mention a, what is that a number you must use a before that will you give me a thousand rupees a thousand rupees will you give me a 500 rupees will you give me a 500 rupees okay a thousand rupees so like that area about a thousand here you know you should use you know area about a thousand a thousand square you know, about a thousand square meters a thousand square meters right right and a must be used there and you go to the next one and this is this sentence is meant for you and uh, uh, before that you know i would like to read this sentence for you since she loves to keep her house tidy she cleans its floor and uh, windows twice a week in the summer and once a week in the winter 
no error please answer this question you go to the next one with little imagination and enterprise the tournament could uh, could have been transformed into a major attraction okay here again the question with little imagination and enterprise in the a part b part c part so b part c part there are no mistakes okay because in the a part there is a mistake with little imagination little means no imagination little means i i have told you just now uh, it gives a negative meaning it gives a negative meaning okay with little imagination with no imagination how can you make it colorful with no imagination that's why uh, this is not the this negative meaning is not suitable in this sentence and uh, here you have to say a little with a little imagination with a little imagination right okay 29th one at lb nagar pvt market there is a pvt market you can say uh, some um, cloth market is there uh, the colorful cotton sarees have been put on sale at a at very attractive price so if you watch these this sentence you know if you observe it uh, in the a part you don't find any mistake in the b part you don't find any mistake but in the c part you find a mistake what is that at very attractive price so price is a singular countable noun I have already before a singular countable noun we must use a or an. So here this singular countable noun is described by this adjective and this adverb. Of course, ad adjective can be there before the singular countable noun. Very attractive price. Price is there, very attractive. But before that, what should be there? Sing since it is a singular countable noun, there must be a or an. So because since the word very is beginning with a vowel consonant sound, we have to use a here. At a very attractive price at a very attractive price okay grammatically you have to say like this at a very attractive price don't say at very attractive price okay right and uh, now let's go to the next example next sent question uh, that all things become possible to any person that believes in almighty okay in the a part and b part there are no mistakes at all and in the c part there is a mistake because before this almighty we must use the it's a very important one it's a um, blind principle blind rule is before this word almighty we must use uh, the definite article in the almighty okay all things become put to any person that believes in the Almighty. but before god you should not use any article don't use any in the god you cannot say in god itself is enough but in almighty is there almighty means all all powerful Almighty means he is also God, but he is all powerful. This word is different from this word. And here you can use the definite article, but here you cannot use it. Please keep these two things in mind. 31st, according to Bible, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of. So, in the B part, C part, there are no mistakes. In the A part, there is a mistake because before this uh, religious uh, book, all before all the religious books we should use the definite article according to the bible the ramayana the mahabharata the quran okay like that before all the popular religious books we must use the definite article according to that rule here this part has a mistake and we have we have to correct it like this right and this 32nd one rakesh was not rich and therefore he could not afford to buy a expensive car please this sentence is meant for you you have to answer this question right dear test takers now let's go to the next one 32nd 33rd one sunita opened a almira full of books and took one of them for reading so if you have observed this sentence you find that in the b part c part and d part there are no grammatical errors, grammatical mistakes. But in the A part, there is a mistake. What is that now? Almira, A Almira. See, Almira is beginning with a vowel sound. How can you use A here? A Almira is wrong. You have to say an Almira. So that's why this part has a mistake. Okay, grammatical error, right? More study students would have participated in a rally if they had been given a notice of it much earlier okay more students would have participated in a rally if they had been given a notice of it much earlier so if you have uh, watched this sentence if you have observed this one and you find there is there is no mistake in this part there is no mistake in the second C part and d part you can find only in the b part what is that in a rally you should not say because most students would have participated in a rally in one rally 
if they had been given a notice of it you are talking about a specific one when you are talking about a specific one how can you say in a rally you cannot say whenever you are mentioning a particular person or a particular thing or particular place you must you must use the definite article here we are talking about this rally and already you know a notice of it we are talking about this you know it's a specific one therefore in a rally you should not say in the rally right again this sentence is for you you should drop little salt into a glass of warm water in order to perform this exper experiment this is meant for you please answer this and send it to me 36th one according to Gita that God incarnates himself in times of trouble okay here that B part C part and D part you find no grammatical errors right if you have observed it and but in the a part you find a mistake what's that Gita is there it's a religious book just like the Bible just like the Quran just like the Ramayana Mahabharata like that before just like that Gita is also a religious book before therefore before that you must use the definite article since it is missing here there this part is a has a grammatical error you have to say right this 37th one is meant for you you please answer this one and send it to me and the 38th one the circumstantial evidence makes it very clear that the accused has hand in the murder okay he has hand in the murder though he still pleads in no sense okay the circumstantial evidence makes it clear no mistake at all in this part and uh, though he still no mistake okay at all but in the b part that seems there it seems there is a mistake what is that that the accused has hand in the murder don't say hand in the murder has a hand in the murder he has a hand do you have a hand in this don't say don't do you have a hand in this no directly do you have because it's a single singular countable noun therefore you must use this a a hand in the murder that the accused has a hand in the murder okay since it is not given here this part has a grammatical mistake and 39th one, a nationwide survey has revealed an interesting finding regarding infant mortality rate in India. A nationwide survey, no mistake, uh, has revealed an, no mistake, interesting finding, uh, C mistake, no mistake, D part, what is that? A nationwide survey has revealed an interesting finding that uh, uh, regarding the infant, what is that? Here, regarding the infant mortality rate you are talking about a specific uh, the survey has made uh, you can say uh, 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 revealed an interesting finding about the specific thing so this is the specific thing about this the the infant mortality rate this is the specific thing so before the specific thing we must use the definite article definite article is missing here therefore this part has a grammatical mistake again 40th one jesus says Jesus says the man cannot live by bread alone. So, you please do this, uh, uh, answer this question and send it to me. And uh, now let me go to the next one, party first one. When I visited the museum, I was attracted by an unique painting painted by E.M. E. Hussain. So, this is in the A part, okay, and in the C part, there are no mistakes. But in the A part, there is a mistake. What is it? I was attracted by an unique, you know, you is there. An unique is a mistake. You have to say a unique because when you use that, e, you is by birth a vowel. <coughs> by birth a vowel. But uh, what is that? This has, you know, two, this gives two sounds. Though it is by birth a vowel, this gives sometimes a consonant sound, sometimes a vowel sound. Whenever this uh, gives, uh, what is that? Uh, the, uh, what is that? Uh, U sound. How do you pronounce this u if if u gives this u sound then you must think it's a consonant sound if this gives the a sound a sound means this a sound agriculture is academy <coughs> like that then it is called uh, what is it a vowel sound but what sound is it giving here uni this sound therefore it's a consonant sound and before a consonant sound what should we use a a should be used there right it is there 
Therefore, I was attracted by a unique painting painted by M. S. Hussain. Right. And uh, the 47th uh, second one, Gangotri has special significance for the devote as it is conceded the abode of King Bhagiratha, who is believed to have brought the Ganga down to the earth. Okay. So, if you have observed this sentence, you find there is no mistake in the B part, the C part and D part, but in the, what is that, in the A part, what is that? So, significance, a special significance. Gangroti has a seg seg special significance. Here A is missing. Gangotri has a special significance. It has a special significance. Singular countable noun. Therefore, you should use this you know, A before that. Gautam Adani, 43rd one. Gautam Adani uh, became the second richest tycoon. Tycoon means a businessman in the world in just a few years. So, if you have observed this one, you find there will be, there is no grammatical error in the A part, okay, in the, what is that, you know, um, uh, in the B part, in the C part, okay, in the B part, there is a mistake, what is that, in just a few years, don't say few means negative meaning again, that's why you have to say in just a few years, and uh, the recent study has proved that there is considerable change in the attitudes of the people. No error. Okay. What is that? The recent study has proved that. Okay. This has no mistake. Uh, this has no mistake. Oh, okay. Uh, what is that? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, so, the recent study has proved that there is considerable. Okay. Uh, okay. S. A mistake. B mistake. D mistake. S. A part has no mistake, the recent study has no mistake, proved that there no mistake, the attitudes of the people. But where is the mistake in the C part? What is that? He has proved that there is considerable change. So, change is there. Change is a singular countable noun. Okay. And it is being described by this considerable. Considerable means large change. Before, therefore, this change is a singular countable noun. Before that, we must use A. But here, change is immediately before that we cannot use because if change is being described by this considerable so you have to say a considerable change a considerable change and you go to the next one this uh, 45th one is for you please answer this question and send it to me see kalpana is in dilemma whether to join uh, uh, the company as a full timer or a part timer no error okay this question is for you 46th one Salim Ali of India was fascinated by birds and the more he studied their habits, greater was his fascination. So, this is meant for you. Please, you have to answer it. To find this answer, you must watch my earlier videos. Okay. Yes. Uh, the use of the part 1, part 2, part 3, something like that. You watch them, watch those videos and you can come across so many rules and you please keep all of them in your mind and uh, you will be successful in your attempt okay right and 47th one all of us must respect a honest person see it's a very simple one all of us no mistake must respect no mistake and this has a mistake what is that a honest you no know? honest is there okay honest here this is a silent h word okay there is a rule i have taught you what is that before the silent h words we should use only an okay before the silent h words that means why it means this h is silent and always beside this h uh, there is a uh, vowel sound and and this word is being pronounced from this o r that is a vowel sound and therefore we think that the word is beginning with a vowel sound and therefore we use an before that similarly our is there here H is silent, but you are beginning the word with O, and O is giving a vowel sound, and therefore we use an before that. Honor, H O N O U R, honor. And here H is silent, and we are pronouncing the word from O. O is giving a vowel sound, and that's why we think the word is beginning with a vowel sound, and we use an before that. In this way, before S, the silent H word, there are as many as uh, uh, eight or ten silent H words are there, and uh, you please watch all of them. Uh, that's why here this is a this part has a mistake. We have to say an honest. Therefore, this part is a mistake. 
and the next one with little patience we can tide over this hurdle as b part no mistake c part no mistake in this a part there with little patience little means no patience with no patience can you tide over the hurdle no so this is little always gives little and few these are dangerous uh, adjectives they give a negative meaning but uh, a little a few they give a positive meaning a little means some patience a little means some a few means some like that a with a little patience okay therefore this part has a mistake this is meant again for you i read it for you he did not go to the village on foot but he went there by the car okay as he did not go to the village on foot but he went there by the car you please uh, find out the mistake or spot out spot the mistake in this sentence and send your answer to me and uh, this is for you and i'll give you uh, for other last one is my friends in my friends insisted that i should see the movie from beginning to the end if you observe this uh, sentence you know you find that this a part has no mistake b part has no mistake only in the c part there is a mistake what is that from beginning you cannot say from beginning from the beginning it's a, a specific phrase it's a constructed phrase you cannot change it from beginning to the end no from the beginning to the end it is already there it is fixed it is fixed certain fixed phrases are there you must learn them by heart you don't have any right to change them you don't have any right to modify them that's why from the beginning to the end so in the c part this d is since d is not there this part is a mistake okay okay dear test takers you can whatsapp your answers on the following number and get explanatory notes i give you explanatory notes also along with appreciation and this number is what is that 756796971293 uh, this is my uh, whatsapp number and you can uh, do that and uh, thank you so much okay and uh, thank you very much for watching this video please uh, send your answers i shall be waiting for your answers and uh, thank you so much and uh, i'll be back with another beautiful video until then bye see all of you right